So today I'm going to take you inside the Wrangler Star Adventure Van. If you ever visit this part of the country, you'll notice that almost every young family has a weekend or an adventure van. If they don't have one, it's because they haven't saved up enough money yet to buy one. A weekender van can really change your life. What's the reason why we don't take our families camping? Usually we're tired on the weekends and it's too much trouble. Having a van all set up, we've got everything ready to go and all we have to do is stop, get a little food and uh, start exploring. In my opinion, the best place to start is with a Ford Econoline, 1997 or newer club wagon. That's the big extended 15 passenger van. There's not a better deal out there. There's no vehicle that you can get more for the money uh, than one of these. This particular one I bought is a 2004, um, $6,000. Once you get your van shell, there's just a few modifications that you need to do to really make it functional. First is a bike rack, and that's going to fit into the rear receiver, which is going to become equipped in most of the vans. Next is a, a stainless steel ladder that clamps on, and then some sort of a storage roof rack where you can put all types of gear, gas cans, extra water, food, uh, you name it. The adventure van is suitable for two to three people, so if you have more kids than that, uh, one option is you can put kids up on top in a tent and let them sleep up there. After you get your van, the first modification that I would do would be a flip around seat for the passengers. These can be had at uh, wrecking yards. You pull it. I bought this one for $20, installed it myself, put the seat on. Now we can face each other and ha enjoy the kind of the family room area of the van. When you get your club wagon, it's going to have four bench rows of seats. You're going to get rid of those and configure it for your family. Three is ideal, and that's our family size. So what I've installed here is a, is a jump seat uh, for Jack out of a Jeep. You can get a used seat or something from a wrecking yard, install it wherever works best for you, but this uh, uh, provides seating for him when we're driving, and then a nice uh, living area for us when we're stopped and camping. The next thing I would build would be a bed. The back of the club wagon will accommodate a full queen. I've built this out of water pipe using clee clamps and a sheet of plywood and seven inches of memory foam. So here with the back doors open, you can see the bed frame, simple three-quarter birch plywood, and using two-inch water pipe with these key clamps, you can see is a very simple way, non-weld for non-fabricators, if you don't have a machine shop, to put together a bed frame uh, that will be removable when you replace it uh, with your new van. I also added a small light back here uh, to illuminate the area in the nighttime when I'm searching for gear or I'm in the dark. Next, you're going to want to put in an electrical system. I chose to use the Optima gel batteries because they don't vent and they're safe to have inside a confined area. They're deep cycle, high quality, they last a long time. Next is just a cheap 4000 watt Harbor Freight inverter hooked to a power strip up on the top of the galley area. And then we have a uh, uh, isolator here, which prevents, uh, if these batteries run down, they prevent the engine battery uh, from being run down, so we never have to worry about a dead battery. We have a shut-off switch here, where we can choose between off position, battery one, battery two, or both batteries working at the same time. I've also installed this simple voltmeter hooked to a two-way switch, so I can check the condition of my batteries quickly. Battery one, battery two. This little counter here we found at Ikea works really well for the galley. This was a simple little uh, Ikea a, a toy station that they had with the bins in it. And I put a small countertop on it. We have these removable bins that we can take in, put in, take out, uh, put on the picnic table. Mrs. Wrangler Star can take them in, fill them up, and they work really great for food and plates. Water is provided by a simple uh, seven gallon water can. It sits up here on a strap uh, with a nozzle on it and a small refrigerator. The refrigerator is just a real basic unit, it's 12 volt only. These are made for uh, sleeper cabs and long haul truckers. I found this on Craigslist for uh, a couple hundred dollars, installed it in here, and it's nice. We had a cooler for a long time, and this is a perfect addition and holds enough food uh, for several days. With these two batteries, the refrigerator will run in a hot day about 48 hours, 72 and beyond when it's in cooler weather. Behind the water can, I permanently mounted a small Shoemaker battery charger. So if we're at a place, a campground with a plug-in or a friend's house, we can simply throw an extension cord out, top off our batteries. Connected to the inverter is a small power strip that's useful for charging phones, iPads, uh, just a small camp lantern, etc. Whatever you need. 
The center console has nice cup holders and a pull-out drawer and kind of a cubby bin that's uh, good for storing all types of things while you're traveling. There's also nice big pockets in the doors for personal items. For cooking, the very best thing that we've ever found are these small butane cook stoves. They're uh, really fast to deploy. They run off these small fuel canisters where you can buy about seven of the or four of these for seven dollars and an electric start and they're safe to run inside so you don't have to worry about poisoning your family while cooking or they're simple to take outside and just use on a picnic table. Butane stove stores really nicely under the refrigerator and then underneath is a good storage for shoes. So the van space is pretty tight so everything needs to be ship shape. One rule that we've implemented is that each family member gets a tub and your personal items fit in here. If, it needs to, if you need more than that, uh, you're going to have to consolidate and everyone gets one of these. A couple essential items you're going to want to have is a good gravity feed water filter and first aid kit. For heating water, we use just electric hot water pots you, and plug that into the inverter for, in the morning for coffee or tea. Another essential item for the adventure van are uh, Delorme Gazetteers, detailed maps for whatever states you're going to find yourself in. GPS cannot be relied upon in remote areas. Club vans also come with three rows of 12 volt lighting and a very robust heating air conditioning system. For winter camping or cold climates, we use uh, the Mr. Heater propane catalytic heater. Make sure you crack a window, keep it ventilated, but this is ideal uh, for keeping the inside of the van warm when you're in remote cold areas. One other thing I'd consider is uh, mount in a secure location a good safe uh, where you can keep a personal firearm, you can store your wallets and cell phones and things if you go for hikes or bike rides that will be secure from a break-in. You'll find when you're out that most of the day you'll have your slider door open. So I disconnect the uh, contact points here so the uh, dome lights are not on running the battery down on this particular door. Another great feature about the van is it's so stealthy. You can, if you're traveling across country at night, uh, you can pull along neighborhoods and, and spend the night or sleep in areas and not be bothered by the police. It doesn't look like a camper, it doesn't look like a motor home, and people just don't take very much notice of it. It's a lot easier to get around in town because it's small and compact, drive throughs to turn around on remote areas or gravel roads, and uh, just a lot more fun to drive than a conventional RV. It's a good idea to throw in uh, small portable solar panels for charging your batteries on hot sunny days. And the upper rack really is great for storage. We're carrying canoes, uh, surfboards, kayak, your paddle gear, all those things. I like these Rubbermaid boxes uh, because they can be strapped down and labeling them with whatever your gear is. So we can grab this one for skiing, for example, or grab one that has our mountain biking gear or our rock climbing things. Know that we have everything we need and just throw it up here. It's out of the way and there if we need it. The overhead rack's really a great place to store your lawn chairs also. Another nice feature on the club wagons is that most of them come with dark tinted windows. It gives you privacy when changing into uh, swimwear or just uh, uh, keep you out of uh, away from prying eyes. So that's the quick and dirty review of the adventure van. These are so fantastic on so many levels. They truly are life changing. To be able to have everything at your fingertips and just make a split decision, hey, let's go to the mountains, or hey, let's go to the lake, or hey, let's go to the river, uh, it's just simple. So stop and get some food, throw everybody in, you know you have what you need, or if you don't, you can usually make do with what you do have. It's also uh, such a great idea for you guys that are prepared just minded and you're worried that you don't have an area to bug out to. If you use this on a regular basis and keep it stocked up and, and know what's in there, how nice would this be in a natural disaster or a fire, for example, like we're having down in Arizona where you're just at a moment's notice you need to leave to load up your family and to be able to spend uh, some time safely in something like this and have the things that you need and, and have the experience from the t previous camping trips to know that you're, you're not going to go hungry, you're not going to starve, you can feed your family and have a safe, defendable location that's portable. Uh, and for the money, uh, I would say that um, you could buy these things from 1997 to newer. I have friends that have paid as little as $2,000 for their vans. A Connell line, um, club wagons, a 15 passenger extended, that's what you want. Uh, engines, not so important, they're all fine, they're not race cars, but uh, what a great start and a life-changing uh, investment that uh, you would never regret.